Secretary Vilsack, you know, the numbers from this USDA report are truly staggering. 15% 15, 15 of the nation was food insecure at some point last year. And, and that sounds sort of like the ultimate euphemism. What is food insecure exactly? Well, Katie, what it means is that at some point in time in, in each month, uh, those uh, American families had to decide how to apportion a uh, very limited nutrition uh, to themselves, to their children, and to the, and to the family. Uh, it's an it's a issue that we've been dealing with very seriously. It's obviously something we're very concerned about. We've begun a process of trying to make it easier for folks to qualify for some of the programs that will help them get through a tough time. And as the economy improves, our hope is that we'll see more people uh, require less assistance and help. Ed Krasinski asked us on Twitter, why are so many Americans struggling to have enough to eat? And I imagine that the recession has a great deal to do with it. What's interesting about this is that only 10 percent of the people who are receiving SNAP benefits are receiving what we refer to as cash welfare. The other 90 percent are not. Many of them are senior citizens. Obviously, a lot of them are children. But many are working uh, Americans, people who are working part-time jobs or full-time jobs that just simply don't give them enough resource to be able to put food on the table on a consistent basis uh, throughout the year. That's why we have a SNAP program and why we have the school lunch and school breakfast programs. And when you say SNAP, that means food stamps, correct? It's a supplemental nutrition assistance program. Uh, it's it formerly known as the food stamp program. It's a program designed to provide some assistance uh, so that uh, those dollars can be stretched a little bit further so that uh, groceries can be obtained for families. How much has the recession exacerbated this problem? Well, we've seen a remarkable increase in the number of uh, SNAP recipients. Uh, when we came into office, uh, there were approximately 31 million Americans in the process of receiving uh, food stamps or SNAP uh, payments today, that number is closer to 42 to 43 million. And now part of that is because we're doing a much more aggressive outreach effort to try to get to people. Uh, a lot of states were underperforming, California, Texas, and Florida, and we did some work there, uh, and we encouraged uh, easier ways of qualifying. But obviously the recession has something to do with it. Uh, the good news in this report, if there is good news, is that we are now beginning to see sort of a flatlining of, of the increase, which means that perhaps as uh, the economy begins to improve, we're going to see a downward trend in those numbers instead of the continued upward trend. One in five American children is poor. One in seven Americans in general, but you're talking about people who aren't necessarily living in poverty. These are working Americans who are often going hungry. Uh, that's correct. Be uh, simply because the, the wages they earn, either in part-time work or full-time work, simply just don't provide enough resource for them to take care of their family, as most of us would like uh, to be able to take care of our families. That's why the SNAP program is important, and that's why this, the child nutrition programs are important. And it's also why the food banks are important. Uh, we've seen a tremendous uh, surge in the need for uh, assistance in the food banks, and fortunately we have a number of organizations, Feeding America, and one in particular that has been working very hard to make sure that uh, folks have enough food, either by food banks or through SNAP uh, to make ends meet. But these are obviously only temporary fixes, aren't they? Bottom line is, as the economy improves, uh, our hope is that we'll see fewer people in need of these uh, resources in, the, in these programs. Uh, a healthy economy is ultimately the answer, uh, and we're working very hard, uh, the president, the vice president, and all of us are working very hard to try to get people back to work. And how do you reduce people's reliance, uh, Mr. Secretary, on things like food stamps? How do you move them from, from using food stamps to getting back on their feet if possible? Creating jobs that will support families, uh, wage levels that will support families, and we're doing that. We're beginning to see an, in, an increase in employment in rural America uh, as we are turning agricultural uh, commodities into a variety of different uh, things, biofuels, for example, as we expand broadband, uh, work to build the economy in rural America. We're beginning to see a downward trend in unemployment. That's a good sign. We obviously need to do more of that, and we are focused on doing that. And I'm convinced that over the course of the next uh, several months, we're going to continue to see some progress in building jobs. And as the economy gets stronger, uh, then reliance on these programs will, will be reduced. Let's, let me ask you another question from Twitter. TJ2 Barker asks, how is it possible that 50 million are hungry when there is so much obesity in this country? Well, that's a very good question, and, and the reality is that uh, uh, oftentimes there are twin, uh, twin problems coming out of the same source. Uh, those who are struggling to make ends meet often take a look at how they might be able to stretch that dollar and may assume wrongly uh, that fruits and vegetables uh, may not be as filling and may, not be more, and may be more expensive. So we're working very hard to uh, do a better job of educating people about nutrition 
and we're particularly focused on trying to get children uh, to have uh, better opportunities in schools. That's why it's important for Congress to pass the Child Nutrition Reauthorization Act that will improve the quality of the, of the meals as well as expanding access to them. Because the bottom line is that it's expensive to eat healthy. Well, you know, that's, that's what be. people, th well, that's what people think. But, you know, the reality is that there are an awful lot of ways to stretch that dollar. We just need to get better information in the hands of folks. Uh, and we're trying to do that at USDA through a series of, of recipes. We're trying to do it through a, a recipe contest at schools, all designed to figure out ways in which we can use fruits and vegetables, whole grains and low-fat dairy more creatively and less expensively. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be that it's always more expensive. You know, before you leave, the president's deficit panel is mulling some deep cuts in government subsidies to farmers. Some people, including former Secretary of Agriculture Dan Glickman, think that this is the right way to go, that we shouldn't be in the business of subsidi subsidizing farmers when times are good for them. What do you think about this? Well, first of all, I think it's important to know that uh, 600,000 of the 800,000 farmers who are producing the bulk of what we produce and, and consume in this country will average about $6,400 this year in a year where uh, farm income is up 24% in net income from their farming operations. So the safety net is an important consideration. It's also important to note that the U.S. Department of Agriculture has already substantially reduced uh, its reliance uh, in, in terms of support by $4 billion through a redesign of the crop insurance program. So we've already begun to address deficit reduction in a very meaningful way, and we're looking forward to working with other departments to see a, a like uh, opportunity created. Uh, within the government. Is it upsetting to you that people really only consider, I don't want to say only, but for the most part, this, this whole issue of hunger in America gets a lot of attention, particularly around Thanksgiving where there's so much emphasis on food or e around maybe a holiday like Christmas. Um, how, can, how can Americans do more to attack this problem and care more about it in the first place? Well, those who are uh, business owners can look for opportunities to hire people uh, and put people back to work. That's obviously very important. Uh, the rest of us, I think, need to understand that this is not a, a struggle for uh, these families during the Thanksgiving or holiday time. It's a struggle every single month. Uh, and it's important for us to continue to support uh, the SNAP program and programs like that to provide nutritional assistance. Uh, and it's also important to, to recognize uh, the need to uh, donate to food banks uh, to, through, uh, through charities uh, to make sure that folks can get the resources they need. And finally, if there are creative ways uh, through the social marketing techniques to get information to folks about how they might be able to stretch their food dollar, every idea is a good idea and it needs to be publicized. All right. Well, Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack, I know you've got a busy day and um, need to get going, but thanks so much for spending some time with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Katie.